Hello and welcome, I am Patchworth, your game clown, once again, and welcome to Gameworth. And this is Hammerwatch, an interesting little game, as you can see with a lot of pixel art here. And uh, it is actually a dungeon crawling game at the very most basic sense of it. I mean, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, it's a very fun game. I've only played a little bit of it, and I do want to get a couple of parties of my uh, Steam friends together to play some more of this, because as you can see, there is a multiplayer function, which seems to work pretty well. But before we get into that, let's take a look at some of the options here. As you can see here, we have the game. You can do a couple of things here with the mini-map, so you can either see through it or not see through it. Uh, the graphics, as you can see, a couple of different objects. I've got this in the letterbox for YouTube purposes. And Balloon Glow, all sorts of stuff. It seems to work pretty well, actually, and uh, usually Fraps tends to slow things down for me. Uh, sound options, as you can see, I've got them down so you can hear the dulcet tones of my voice. And the controls, we have a couple of different options. Is a keyboard, which works pretty well. I actually used that for a while. Um, or the uh, the keyboard and the they also have the option for the controller, which I was using. Uh, but I'm going to go just keyboard right now. Both work fairly, fairly well. And let's just take a look at the game. As you can see, they have the Hammer Watch, which is the original version here. And then they also have Temple of the Sun, which gives us a couple of different options for play. This is, I believe, a new DLC that was given to us for free. And there you can also see we have a workshop for making up your own maps and whatnot. Uh, so, interesting, interesting. You have your difficulty levels. And we also have a couple of different characters in which to play. Uh, your Paladin, Melee Fighter, Ranged Spellcaster with Splash Damage, Versatile Fighter, recommended for new players, he's alright. Melee Spellcaster who can replenish health, uh, High Damage Melee Fighter with Low Defense, and the Priest, who is currently my favorite character. I like playing healers. But we'll start off with the Warlock and go to Castle Hammerwatch, give you an idea of what we're doing. Oh, look at that! You can load your progress! I did not realize you can save. Oh, I'm gonna have to make sure to, uh... I've only played a couple of games of this, so I'm still learning. This is almost a first look. The bridge! See if you can find a way out. We'll wait here! Yes, yes. Do that, companions! I shall! Alright. There we go. Okay. And now you you have your um, controls here, which uh, it uses WADs, uh, WASD keys for your movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you also have the um, the up, down, uh, left, and right keys for your various attacks. Uh oh, who does it? Um, you break open boxes, gather up gold, which can be used for, uh, being bought at various merchants, scatter throughout the dungeon. And as you can see, there is a little bit of lag on mine, so... What I was concerned about has been confirmed as being the truth. Ah! No! No! Ah! Have at thee! Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. So every single one of these little guys, they has their own. Damn it! Look at. Okay. They have their own um, abilities. The warlock here, as you can see, he has a chain lightning attack. I don't know anything about the actual healing that they they speak of. Where's that hidden? area. There's like a, a whole bunch of like hidden caverns and stuff hidden behind various walls and whatnot. And there's one nearby and I cannot for the life of me remember where it is. Shwaga! Oh god! Shoot it! 
Ouch, I just got hit it. it. Die! Die, bug scum! Yes. Anywho, um, so this is the warlock. Um, you can actually also, I believe, by hissing, hitting the, uh, is it the shift key where you can, uh, sort of stand in a circle and do this. It's a little bit easier with the controller because you can hit the controllers, and then I believe it's with, is it control? Here we go. Uh oh. Oh no, it's not control. Is it alt? Is it tab? Uh, uh oh. Nope, oh, tab. That's the, uh, that is the uh, map here. Should see the opacity is actually kind of large. Uh, it's not shh. Control. And. Alt? Nope. Where's the keys? Options, statistics. I should have prepared better. It's been a while since I've played this. Options, controls, rebind, potion strafe is space. That was my absolute very next guess. So you can actually go like this. Yeah. Da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, and this is very good for like you know backing away from an opponent while attacking them without taking too much damage. All right. And I will show you if we can zarp. Oh god! Over here we get like the. Oh god! Ugh. I I do like. Uh oh. Uh. Ugh. No. Leave me alone. I'll give you such a pinch. Ooh. Yes. Anywho. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, going, um, so like I can say, uh, it's essentially your basic dungeon crawlery type of game, um, but for, for all that, it is rather well done. So let me actually uh, show you some of the other characters real quick. Uh, I'll quit down to the single player, I'm gonna show you... Uh, Temple of the Sun will go with the the theft. Um, Temple of the Sun. Now, Temple of the Sun's a little bit different because you don't start right in the dungeon. Swish 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 as you can see, you've got your, your health bar, your uh, magic bar, which uh, is used for various types of magical effects. Right now, you only get the one. These right here are one-ups, which we cannot access because this gent right here needs to clear the path by getting his, I believe, explosives from the inside. Right over here, various types of power-ups, which you can actually get inside the temples. Shop keeps which will upgrade your equipment once you have the money for it. And that key that I just got, as you can see, is actually one of the... They're called, like, vendor coins, which gives you a discount the more that you collect. Up here we have the various types of... Here we go. Up here we have the various types of keys, which you... No, these are the keys. These are... Runes. They're runes that allow you to go into these rooms and sort of teleport back and forth from the main room to here. They have a different sort of uh, effect in the Hammer Watch version, but essentially what you do is... I need that vendor key. Somebody get it? I need that vendor coin! Give me the vendor coin! Ah! Uh, but yes, here's the king. Hello, king, pharaoh, whatever, whatever. I don't care. Frost sorceress. Yes, fine. And then we go into the temple itself. I'm only going to explore this one briefly. That's not the right area. Here we go. This nice little open space. To the library. Yes, we're going to be... Uh, uh oh, hello. No, oh god. Um, yes, hi. Largest collection of books. 
Hmm. Books! Yes. If you talk to one of the other guards, it says that, Hey, we sent this guy to find something, but he hasn't shown back up. I wonder where he went. Well, that would be this chap right here. Sorry, friend. Let me just take that wallet of yours. All right. Onwards and upwards. And as you can see, we're down here. Oh! Look at here we go. This is what I'm talking about. You can find, like, little secret hidden rooms like this. Uh, diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. And a thief's. Gentleman thief. Just imagine me wearing a top hat and uh, a oopsie doodle. Here it comes! Yeah, this, this one is, is definitely interesting. I, uh, a lot of these little, instead of crushing the pots, all of these, um, plant thingies, I guess. Plant thingies. I'm no botanist, but those look like plant thingies. Is where you get all your materials. Ouch! And so then when we got here, we can... How do you say? Options. No. Statistics. Mana used. Damage done. Help. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Keys, cash, money, mana, potions. There we go. Heroes, the paladin, the wizard, the ranged guy, and the thief. Contrives. You skill two. Three and four. Okay. Keys, cash, food, money, potions, which are right here. Use your av available potion. And let's see. So I'm still trying to figure out if we go single, we go to load your progress. Load your progress. <gasps> oh, whoa! That is actually kind of cool. You can actually go back here. Oh. I was wondering about that. I had some pretty good runs, but this game took forever. I'm just noticing this now. Also, I want to say I find it really hilarious that right here... I don't know if anybody's as old as I am, but this is actually a reference to Day of the Tentacle. One of the greatest LucasArts games of all time. This is actually uh, whoever this is transporting himself back in time through the time potty. They actually had a time traveling machine. That was a toilet. That was awesome. So, yeah, let's just take a look at some more of these characters real quick so you can get a better idea. I'm going to go with this. As I do. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so as you can see, each one of these characters not only. Um, acts differently. They have different types of attacks, different types of... Ouch! That was dumb. Uh, different health, different uh, mana availability, and their attacks are different. You do not regenerate uh, health. You need to... Uh oh uh oh going to be a short one. Uh, what I discovered with the the priest is he does actually like ha la 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 like that, which is pretty cool. Of course, you got to aim in front of you. But this beam right here damages enemies, but also heals your compatriots. So if you have a multiplayer game and you're using the priest, you can actually uh, keep your teammates alive. And it's also, as you can see, fairly... Uh, destructive. The cool thing about that as well is that you can have your skills upgraded uh, at various vendors to create more damage or more healing abilities. And since I don't have any vendors nearby, I can't really go into this, but like I said, I'd like to do a little bit more of this with a multiplayer sort of scenario. This is a fun game. 
So if I could like stream this or some damn thing, I think this would be a lot of fun. All right, let's show you some more of the characters real quick. Now the Paladin is weird. I don't know exactly because he's got this charge ability. And he's very much a melee fighter. Pretty heavy armor, as you can see. Cha 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 cha. Charge! Charge! Charge it! Mm. All right. Okay, so over there you also have the apples for like regenerating your health. Oh, uh, bugger. Bugger. All right. Backing it up. Single will go with the wizard, I think. Because I like the wizard, actually. But... It's like... Blah, blah, shli -boof, shli -boof. As you can see, splash damage. And then his powerful attack is... I boy fire at you. Please fire! Ouchie! Blah, blah, blah. Oh god. Leave me alone. I'm frail. I'm frail. Blah. So, yeah. This is an interesting game, and I do wish to explore it quite a bit more. Um, but, as always, the question is, is it worth it? Well, the game is actually uh, pretty affordable. I believe at uh, $9.99 at, uh, or uh, uh, your local equivalent on Steam. So right there, it's a, you know, as, as I can see, a fairly in-depth game with a good multiplayer system. Uh, you know, very amazing graphics for, you know, being pixel art here. And with the like a Steam Workshop for creating your own stuff, plus the uh, the free uh, DLC, the people who created this obviously care about their community. So it's always good to see stuff like that. So I would say, if this is your kind of game, if you like a good dungeon crawler and you like uh, old style sort of graphics, this one is one I would definitely pick up because I think, in my opinion, this is totally worth it. So. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Hopefully you'll join me for the next one. But until then, cheers all.